everyone. My name is Chi. I'm nine years old. Today, I will talk about my favorite. When you step on the brakes, your life is in your foot, hands. In 2015, two men drove a Volkswagen across the continental United States. On just over 100 gallons of fuel. Their 81 mile per gallon performance doubled the car and misstated full rating. And set the record for the lowest full consumption ride of a diesel car. Duo call themselves hypermilers and are experts in the quiz that maximizes a car full efficiency. Such as pools and glide. In pools, driver accelerated slowly until they are traveling safely above their intended speeds. Then they slowly release the throttle and glide. To understand why this strategy stays full, we first need to unpack what exactly is going on beneath a car's hood. Non-electric cars run on terminal consumption engines. Or ECIs. Cars are often advertised as supporting a four, six, or eight cylinder engine. Which refers to this device main components. Within each of these cylinders is a piston, which move up and down, spinning a bar known as a crankshaft. Effectively converting linear motion into a rotary motion. that can drive the wheels. What power these piston movements? Does this give these engines their nameless, namesake compositions? As the piston lower air and fuel are sprayed into the cylinder chamber, Then the piston rises, this air and full mixture is compressed. In gasoline engines, a spark introduces into the gas. A diesel engines the comparisons alone created a mini explosion. This combustion causes an 
immediate increase in the temperature and pressure. Propelling the piston down and to start the cycle again. The gas pedal controls the amount of air and subsequent pull. Released into the chamber. The more full in the chamber, the more powerful the combustion. Making the crankshaft flowing faster. Driving down the highway, ICE cars march thousands of blasts per minute. But explosion, power driving is pretty inefficient. As much of the energy generated is lost to heat. In fact, only 16 to 25 percent goes towards moving the wheels. The explosions also created CO2. And ICE engines produce 15% of the total global carbon emissions. The pulse and glide can increase efficiency. For two reasons. First, when accelerating to higher speeds during the pulse, the engine works at a higher efficiency. Compare it to traveling at a constant lower speed. And second, modern car engines shut off full injection or idle. When decelerating, meaning that as the car glides, the wheels are driven by inertial energy rather than combustion. Ultimately, the saving pool. But even at their peak performance, ICE hyper milers can't compete with the true champions of full Fancy right. The electric vehicle. Many EVs run on induction motors, which have two main parts. A stretcher and a rotor. This Trader is a series of rings which copper wires wrap around it. By conducting electricity at variable rates, these wires created a rolling magnetic field. This wheel induces the rotor with electrical current, causing it to spin and driving the motion of the wheel. For EVs, pressing on the 
oscillator changes for the frequency of current. Driving into the wire of this stator. In turn, increasing the rate at which the router spins. By, by utilizing battery power rather than gas line. Sixty-five to sixty-nine percent of the energy consumed by EVs. Going directly to moving the wheels. And since EVs don't create an explosion, fewer parts are needed below the hood. While a typical ICE vehicle has over 2,000 moving parts. To help contain Cool and maintain combustion. A typical EV has about 20. EV are completely changing the hypermilin gain. As driver complete to travel the farthest on fewest kilowatt hours. And recourse will likely only get more impressive. As the design of EV motors allows for the introduction of innovated energy saving devices. For example, most EVs utilize Regentary diff braking. For example, most EVs are televised. Regentary diff braking. Where energy normally lost to friction is conserved. As the car slows, the electric motors operate in verse. Capturing the vehicle kinetic energy to recharge the battery. Some companies are even equipping EVs with a stop solar panel. Further increasing their range. Signs they don't burn full. EVS have zero tailpipe emissions. That's not to say they are always carbon natural. EVs require with regular charging of their batteries, meaning their emission profile is only as clean as the electric booty they plug into. So as the global grid continues to shift towards Renewable resources. EVs are also becoming greener, making them an even more attractive hybrid efficient. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for watching.